The city of Corpus Christi is working to meet with various groups concerning its proposed $750 million Inner Harbor desal plan. They've even launched a redesigned website to help with the effort. Officials today sat down with three news and other members of the media for a Q&A session. Our Michael Gibson was there and has some of those answers for us tonight on those big talks. Members of the media showed up for a question and answer session uh, on our desal plant project. Drew Molly, the man who runs Corpus Christi Water, was answering some of our questions, and so was Jason Coughlin, the project manager, who says that even if we built two desal plants along the bay, there would be minimal environmental impact. We're talking about 0.6 parts per thousand um, of an impact on the bay. So, and that all goes back to 17 parts per thousand is the natural range. One of the questions we had was whether there were any other cities which had built a similar plant, and if so, what environmental impact have they seen? We were told that the city's project will closely resemble Perth, Australia's. They've got a 36 MGD, 36 or 38, that's been operating for almost 20 years. It is the best longitudinal study on desal discharge. They're using the same discharge technology that we're planning, and they're gonna double their plant capacity because over 20 years they've seen no impacts. And the sea life near that facility has reportedly thrived. If you go to their website, they've got some really cool pictures mm. where they've got the jet diffuser and some of the most sensitive species that are in Cockburn Sound have created a habitat around the diffuser. Seahorses, starfish, all sorts of fish. More of these are meetings with the media and other groups are planned in the future. Water. In fact, today a couple of us had to run out because they're meeting with uh, a couple environmental groups uh, today. So it's important that we, that we continue that conversation. The city is also hoping people will check out its newly redesigned desal website, complete with an artist rendering of what the plant will look like. So there's videos on there, there's, there's pictures, there's renderings. Right now, the cost of our desal Inner Harbor plant site is right around $750 million. We learned today the impact on water bills could mean that by 2028, you might be paying up to nine more dollars on your monthly bill. Michael Gibson, 3 News.